Welcome to my YouTube channel, Live by Design with Grace Karaoke. Please subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment, uh, ask a question, reach out to us through our phone number. We'll be glad to interact with you. It is my joy to host you on this um, medium and to be able to share valuable information about your relationships. So we've been talking about infidelity, cheating, or what we call adultery. Now, I want to talk about emotional cheating. And I'm going to say that uh, I do think that uh, men do not really kind of think that emotional cheating exists on the overall, generally. Women, we are the ones who really feel that uh, emotional attachment with a person who is not your spouse is actually cheating. Men tend to think if I didn't have any physical uh, contact with that person that I am not uh, cheating on my spouse. Now, so what is emotional cheating? Emotional cheating is uh, when you get emotional support from a person other than your spouse when you should be getting that emotional support from your spouse. Emotional cheating is mainly about boundaries. It's uh, the information that you share, the time you spend with that person, and the depth uh, with which that you share information with that person. So those three things can tell you whether you are emotionally attached to a person that uh, could, could be um, called emotional cheating. So number one, you are spending a lot of time with that person. Number two, you are sharing deep things about, that, about your life and about what you are doing, what you are feeling and experiencing in your life with that person, and also um, how the, the consistency of the times that you speak with this person. Now, uh, the, the, usually the, uh, there is also the, the issue of friendship. Um, because some, some people will say, no, no, we are just good friends and we've been friends for years and years. So what you want to do is to be able to listen to your spouse because you see your spouse is the one who is experiencing you. And so you want to say to yourself, instead of defending this friendship, you need to ask yourself, why is my spouse uh, having trouble with me talking with this person even though we 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 have been with this I have been with this person for a long long time so and then this is the other thing that uh, you need to check if you begin to talk to a person of the opposite sex about the problems in your marriage then there is something that is wrong right there because now you have entered into into you have created a triangle with this other person now they know more about your 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 marriage and now that you have another person to share about the the struggles within your marriage your stress levels are lowered and so there is no need to bring in your wife into the whatever or your husband into whatever the struggle is because you already have gotten relief because you have found somebody else to talk to. Talking to a therapist is very different because when you talk to a therapist, you are talking to a person on a professional level and also you are talking to a person who is objective and who is not emotionally going to be uh, connected with you. When you talk to uh, a person of the opposite sex and you are telling them about the problems within your marriage, you are compromising your own safety emotionally because now you will not feel that you are comfortable to talk to your spouse about that. Now, who are the people who are likely to seek an emotional uh, connection. I will say those are the people who avoid, who fear confrontation. They don't want to confront their wives about or their husbands about what is going on within their relationship. And, and, uh, and also people who, are, who hold on to, to grudges. So you, 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 you are mad at your spouse, you don't want to tell them, and then, uh, you know, life happens and then you have a friend in the office or a colleague in the office or a person that you go to church with or a person that you, that you normally uh, get, take the same matatu with. And, and eventually what happens is that you become more and more comfortable with them and they are allowing yourself to experience life. And then, without knowing, you find yourself getting attached to them. So how do you know that you are in an emotional relationship? 
Uh, number one, you are fantasizing about the times you spend with that person. You are replaying times that you have spent with that person and you look forward to be able to look for them so that you can connect. Um, and, and also that uh, you find yourself spending a lot of time talking about nothing, quote unquote, with this person, that you feel comfortable, you feel accepted, you feel understood, you feel happy talking to them. Those are telltale signs that you are either moving into an emotional uh, relationship or you are already in one in an emotional relationship. Now, the, the, the problem that, uh, that comes is that you may find yourself um, becoming falling in love with this person or this person falling in love with you and the moment your spouse finds out and now you have to end that relationship the other person may decide that they are not going to let you go and that is when now we get into these wrangles these love triangles and before we know it there it becomes very very ugly so it's important for you to check yourself if you are finding yourself uh, getting close to a person of the opposite sex, please check yourself before things get to, to be too, too bad. So until I see you next time, please subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment. Tell us what is helpful. Tell us what we can improve. And also ask us any questions you may have. As well as you can call us on that number on the screen. And we will be glad to interact with you. Until I see you next time, may the Lord bless you.